I want to welcome you to the Ask Jeff YouTube channel. Here's today's question. Biblically speaking, is divorce permissible if one person was involved in adultery? Matthew chapter 19, verse 9, and Luke 16, 18 seem contradictory. Well, let me share with you why they seem contradictory, and then we'll deal with the issue at hand. There are actually two words that the Bible uses for the dissolvement of a marriage. There is divorce, and there is, quote, putting away. Now, in North America, in English, which is the primary audience of this channel, I know we're worldwide, but that's the primary audience. In our language, we only have one word, it's divorce. And there's people that have divorced because of adultery. There's people that have divorced because of financial infidelity. There's people that have divorced just because of irreconcilable differences, whatever it may be. However, in the Old Testament, you can go back to Deuteronomy chapter 24. You can go into the, the book of Malachi and some other places. One of the things that you discover is there is divorce and there is putting away. Now, in very brief, allow me to explain. When a marriage covenant was made in the Old Testament, according to Deuteronomy chapter 24, the woman brought a year's wages or a dowry uh, to that marriage bond, that institution, that covenant. If the marital vows were broken, if there was a dissolvement, the man had to return the dowry to the woman, according to Deuteronomy 24, so she could, quote, start over. Now, putting away was a very creative tactic that the religious zealot Jews came up with because they didn't have the money to give back to the woman. So rather than, quote, divorcing her and allowing her the start she deserved, they would, quote, put her away in the second bedroom, go get a new wife, and go get a new dowry. And so in the New Testament, when it talks about putting away, that's very different than, quote, divorce. Now, I'm not an advocate of divorce. I don't promote divorce, and I don't ever want to encourage divorce. However, biblically speaking, God did allow for it, but according to Matthew 19, because of the hardness of man's heart. The reason that any marriage dissolves would be because of the hardness of heart, the acceptance of and the promotion of one or mutual sinful behaviors and condition within the relationship. However, the hardest words are for putting away. By the way, Malachi chapter 2, verse 16, if you want to go look it up in the old Hebrew language, it's the word for putting away. It is not the word for divorce. God hates putting away. God permits divorce, but never encourages it never supports it, never celebrates it, and says the only reason it happens is because of the hardness or the sinful condition of one's heart. So again, one of those complicated issues that unfortunately our culture at times and our language uh, tends to supersede what the Bible actually says. Great question. If you have one, send it to askjeff.net. Maybe your question will be tomorrow's. Thanks for being a part of today's daily question. Now, we answer a question each and every day. Please feel free to submit a new question at askjeff.net. We may not have gotten to yours today, but we eventually will continue to be a part of this. Subscribe so you don't miss out on a question every day.